don't realise that the Gibraltar Football Association is one of the oldest football associations in, in the world. It was it's difficult to describe into words. I actually have to admit that uh, when the national anthem was being played and uh, our flag was flying and I started to see the lads, uh, our lads were, I have known since they were five and seven years old when they started to play football in the under sevens, I actually refereed most of them when they started playing football. And everything together, the uh, significance of the match, our first UEFA qualifying match and everything, I had actually, I can admit I had tears rolling down my, my, my eyes, I couldn't help it. It's actually sunk in now that I'm sat in the casements and I've had an overwhelming feeling to see such a, a massive crowd and everything that we have and our previous our predecessor the council has done. All the hard work is worth it just to see the enthusiasm shown by the people of Gibraltar. Well, we know you're very, very emotional at football matches, watching your beloved West Ham. We know you're even more emotional when you watch Gibraltar, as we saw uh, when you were in France, when we got our first win. It brought tears of joy to your eye. It did indeed. What, a, what an incredible feeling. You must be feeling something like that now. It was difficult when the national anthem was being sung by the choir to hold back my tears, to be, to be honest. But as I said, I'm ever so proud of uh, Gibraltar and Gibraltar football and very excited at what UEFA membership will now bring to the whole of Gibraltar, not just the football. sends out very positive messages through to throughout. It will hopefully inspire the kids uh, to take football seriously and uh, the adults as well uh, and uh, it will just create another positive buzz throughout Gibraltar football.